Hello YouTube. Let's fix a lawnmower. First thing I did was I took a little nylon brush and I wiped off some of the dirt and debris off the mower and then blew it off with my air hose. And the next thing you'll do is uh, take the air cleaner off with a plain blade screwdriver. There are two bolts that hold the gas tank and carburetor onto the engine. Go ahead and remove those. and then the carburetor and gas tank will basically be hanging on the intake tube by the carburetor. I'm going to take this little black gasket off that goes between the carburetor and the air cleaner. And just grab the tank on each end, wiggle it around a little bit and pull it towards you and it will pop off. Get your pair of needle nose pliers and disconnect that little linkage from the springs, the governor hooked up to the carburetor, and just let that hang there. Now you've got the tank and the carburetor loose from the engine. What you'll do next is get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the five bolts that hold the carburetor to the fuel tank. I should have wiped the rest of that stuff off the side of the tank before I started loosening the carburetor, but I got a little ahead of myself. I'll remember it in just a minute and you'll see me do it. But not before I actually get all the bolts out of the carburetor. reason you'll want to do it when the carburetor is bolted down is to prevent from wiping any of that stuff into the tank underneath the carburetor. All right. Now all you have to do is lift the carburetor up. Don't snatch it up because you may catch that little pickup tube. Just work it out of there. You want to break that pickup tube off. Carburetor on this thing is very basic there's the tank this is the diaphragm I'm poking my finger there it's very loose worn out on top of the diaphragm is a gasket the diaphragm goes on the tank the gasket goes on top of the diaphragm and then the carburetor on top of the gasket you can pick up a kit to repair this carburetor from Lowe's Ace Hardware Amazon anywhere from five to seven bucks and it comes with that little screen I just pulled off and that spring as well as the diaphragm and the gasket and unless your your pump your uh, bubble is messed up that's all you'll need to fix this right there I just used a small screwdriver to pop the jet out of that tube on the bottom of the carburetor has a little rubber o-ring on it the holes in this jet are pretty large so you don't really you're probably not going to have um, any blockage on this but I'm going to use a wire brush to clean up the holes in that just to make sure that I'm getting good flow through there what I'll do is I'll just take a single bristle for my wire brush and bend it over and then I'll just run it in those holes and wiggle it around a little bit To loosen up anything that might be in there. There's a hole in each end of that too, so go ahead and run your wire brush bristle around in there. You'll need a can of carburetor cleaner. I usually buy mine from Advanced Auto Parts. They seem to have the best price on the biggest can. What you'll do is you'll just spray through one end of this little jet just to flush out anything that may be in there. 
is put a little hose up to the end and hold it. Spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner through there. And that should be good. Now here's the kit. It comes with a gasket and a diaphragm, which I had in my left hand. And in here will be the little screen filter that goes on the bottom of the jet tube. The little spring and some instructions which I clearly just threw to the side. Here's my new filter and my spring. I'm going to take the carburetor cleaner and I'm going to spray it through where the jet tube goes in. I'm going to spray off this screen on the pickup tube just to make sure there's no buildup on that. It looked pretty clean. You're just going to take the jet tube, put it back in there. It will snap into place. I'm going to use the end of this little screwdriver to actually push it down in there. You'll feel it click in when it's in place. Just anything blunt, you can just push push down on it, pop it in place. My package with my kit got a little crushed, so my little screen is messed up a little bit. I'm trying to round it up, get it on there, form it. It's mashed on the end, as you can see there. And then you'll just, once you get it on there, just push it on up flush, and that's good. Now that little spring goes on that little knob in there. And that's basically it. Like I said, that carburetor is very, very, very simple. Easy to rebuild. What I'm doing here is the way this carburetor works, it picks up the gas with the pickup tube, pumps it into that little bitty hole on reservoir on the top of the tank, and that's where the gas is sucked up through the jet into the engine. There's some buildup in there, a little bit of uh, debris, probably a little bit of ethanol buildup. So I just scraped the bottom of that. Now I'm spraying it out with carburetor cleaner. Holding my finger over that other hole over there because there's I've got gas in the tank. <clears throat> I want to pour all my gas out. Now here I'm looking inside the tank, just making sure I don't need to dump the gas or anything. There's There was no trash or debris in the tank. Everything looked good. So I'm going to wipe down the tank just a little more, get some of the any loose particles off of it. And now you're going to get your diaphragm, which will be the thin piece. Line it up with the holes on the top of the tank. It will only line up one way, so you can't put it on the wrong way, just as long as you remember to put the diaphragm on the tank first then the gasket which will be the thicker piece with the bigger holes in it will be on top of the diaphragm then your carburetor will line up just one way insert your pickup tube down into the tank when you do that the screen that's over the jet will line up with the hole on the other side. Get your Phillips screwdriver and your five little bolts back out and put them in. Remember this is a plastic carburetor. Don't get all He-Man on these little bolts or you'll you may possibly crack your carburetor. They just need to be snug. Don't need to strip one out. Definitely don't need to break your carburetor. You don't want to turn a $5 repair into a $30 repair.
that snap-on screwdriver I'm using right there I've had for about 20 years probably still works great I'm going to snug up the last few of these bolts here. Just getting them tightened down nice and even. Alright, now your next step is going to be to put that little rubber hose on. That's your little vacuum hose. Line it back up with the side of the engine. Slide the carburetor onto the intake tube that's attached to the engine. Go ahead and hook up your linkage here. It's easier when the tank's loose. Once you get everything lined up, just push it on. You'll feel it slide into place. Put your front bolt in. Make sure everything's lined up with the rear bolt. And put it in. Once you get the bolts hand tight, go ahead and get your ratchet out and snug those up. Again, don't over tighten anything. You don't want to strip anything out. Just want to make sure it's tight. two different size bolts that's why I'm having to change sockets it's like a 13 on the back bolt and a 10 millimeter I believe on the front bolt right here I'm just blowing off some of the debris off the bottom of the air filter getting a little of the dust and dirt off of there These engines use foam filters as an air cleaner. They usually last a very long time. You can wash them out if you need to. I did notice that I forgot to put the little black gasket back on between the carburetor and the air cleaner. Snug that up. Pump your primer bulb up four times. like that you did everything right thanks for watching this video i hope you found it informative happy mowing